Hi there. Today, I just want to do a short little blurb on cancer, a short blurb on cancer, but cancer has many vulnerabilities. I do a lot of work here at Wonders Roots with people with cancer. I work uh, right alongside uh, their, their traditional treatment or whatnot. I've worked with people who have opted out of traditional treatment, but uh, the things that I work with wonderfully can be used um, and to enhance uh mainstream cancer treatment, as well as to mitigate side effects. So that's all a win-win. When I work with cancer, as I do really with every disease entity I work with, I use what I call a slap it silly approach, which means looking at the vulnerabilities of a disease uh, and where if you hit them, um, it's going to hurt them. And then I try to address each of those vulnerabilities with uh, something. So one of the, the vulnerabilities in cancer, for e example, is that the cancer cells are invisible to the immune system. They are incognito. So the, the macrophages, those white blood cells that are supposed to go after, um, you know, scavenging those things and gobbling them up and getting rid of them in a process called phagocytosis or macrocytosis, um, don't do that because they don't see that, that cell as an enemy. And so... Um, what beta-glucan does, the one grown on yeast, 1,3,1-D, um, it, it marks each cancer, cancer cell as an enemy, and then it raises the white blood cell count to go after it. So that's one vulnerability. So um, that's just an example, and I want to make this a short visit video, so I'm not going to go into any more at the moment. But we have to hit, we don't need to use everything we read about out there that is good to fight cancer. What we need to do is make sure we're doing something that fights each and every vulnerability as we know it. And sometimes, oftentimes when I'm working with people with cancer, I'll, I always do look at their particular cancer and look at what pathways are being impacted, what pathways are being used by, say, the treatment that's working best in the world of chemotherapy and what does that in the natural realm, in the herbal world, in the nutrient world, that kind of thing. So it's very exciting. And um, cancer is something I love to work with here at Wonders Roots. I, I work with a lot of people with cancer and um, even uh, and pretty well understood in my area that um, we get better results than um, people who do uh, just the, um, the usual standard treatment. So making no claims, but just saying um, cancer is is um, it shouldn't be the death knell that it is. When you hear you have cancer, you shouldn't feel that, ah, uh, you know, it's terminal. There is no cure. Um, you should take heart. And um, anyway, I have a page on cancer on my website. You might be on there right now reading it, but you might be seeing this on Rumble or YouTube. Go to wondersuits.org and research files, drop down cancer. I have a full length, um, really comprehensive video on how I work with people with cancer, detailed down to what a, a cancer regimen might look like. Um, and with links to products and the whole nine yards, because I want to make this information out there and as available and accessible to as possible. So anyway, be well, have a wonderful day.